Before start this video, please subscribe my channel and click on bell icon. Thanks. New Delhi, with ISRO's most powerful rocket LVM-3 carrying the Chandrayaan-3 module on its tip standing tall on the launch pad in Sriharikota and the lunar craft raring to begin its moon journey next Friday, India is on the cusp of becoming the fourth country after the US, Russia and China to land on. After a quantum rise in our space expertise, India can no longer wait to be left behind in its march to the moon, he said. After landing on Moon, the space minister said, the Chandrayaan-3 rover with six wheels will come out of the lander and is expected to work for 14 days on the lunar surface. With the support of multiple cameras on the rover, we will be able to receive images, Singh said. The space minister said the primary objectives of the Chandrayaan-3 mission are threefold, to demonstrate safe and soft landing on the lunar surface, to demonstrate rover roving on the moon, and to conduct in situ scientific experiments. Crediting Modi for breaking the taboos of the past in the space sector by providing an enabling environment for space workers and taking pathbreaking decisions like unlocking the space sector for the private sector, Singh said, PM Modi's recent US visit was marked by significant space related AGR. Currently, the space economy in India is very small accounting for about 2.1% of the global space economy in 2020 amounting to $9.6 billion, which is zero four dollars of the GDP of the country. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe my channel for more videos.